Hey folks, how's it going? Thanks for checking out the video. I'm Johnny. Today's the second video in a series I'm doing about gotchas when working with paginated reports. Today, we're going to talk about formatting. First off, sound the new swag klaxon. Oh, I got a new T. So this is a slightly obscure Power BI reference, but if you know it, you know it. Now this t-shirt's from the Gyna Cube merch store. As always, I'll stick a link in the description so you can check it out as well. If, like me, you're based in Europe, the great news is they've actually got European distribution. So you don't have to worry about importing from the States, and they've got a really, really good range of merch, so definitely go check it out. Okay, so on to today's topic. Let's picture the scene. You've created this glorious sales report using Power BI. You've got some headline KPIs at the top. You're showing the best performing stores. You've got trend of the revenue over the year. But then the sales director decides that they want to see more detail. They're all like, I want to see more. I want to see the same metrics, but I want to see daily figures. I don't want to see that split by store and by product. I need to filter out which continents to look at. And I don't want to select sales by date range. Now, could you do this in Power BI? The answer is yes, you could. Here on page two of the report, we're displaying all of the information the sales director has asked for, but displaying this kind of large volume transactional data in Power BI doesn't really pay to its strengths. This is a situation where a paginated report is a good option. So remember back to the last video, and if you haven't seen it, I'll stick a link to it here. We looked at how to create a data set using the query designer in the paginated report builder. And we created this basic report that as you can see, is already got in it filters for the continent and for the calendar date. Now if we go back to the design of that report, what I've already done is go back into that data set and add the additional fields that the sales director is requesting. I'm going to remove the continent name from a report. We don't really need that anymore because the continent name is going to be set by the filter. Now let's add the additional fields that have been requested onto the table. So I've added store name, product name, and my additional measures, and that should be it. Jobs are good. Enough. So if we run the report now, this should be all hunky dory. But look at that. Blech. What's going wrong with my formatting? <coughs> my sales revenue cannot decide if it's a whole number or not. Neither can my sales cost. Sales margin should be a percentage. That's just showing us a really horrible decimal. There's only my sales unit quantity, which is supposed to be a whole number that's showing correctly. And what's going on with my dates? This is trying to display in a date time format. Now, me being the good little data model developer that I am, I know full well my model doesn't contain times. It is only a date field. So that's wrong as well. So here's our gotcha. Despite the fact I've taken the time and effort to properly define my formatting in my Power BI dataset, that hasn't carried through to my paginated report. If we check back in on a Power BI report, we can see without doubt this has got the proper formatting on it. My date is shown as a date, revenue and cost are shown as currency, margins are percentage and unit quantity is a whole number. Everything looks just right. So how do we fix this? Unfortunately, there isn't just some magic button that we can click that will automatically flush through that formatting. Sorting this out is going to be a little bit fiddly. Let's check it out. Now, what would be really great would be if you came over to your data set on the left-hand side and could perhaps maybe right-click and set field properties. That sounds like it could be promising, but there's nothing for setting any kind of format in here. What you actually have to do is set each field individually. So if I come over here to my calendar date, right-click on here and go to text box properties, Select the number option here. And this is where the formats are set. I want this to be a date. My preferred date format is this one here. I think it's just a little bit more universal. So I'm going to go with that. And then that's applied. And one of the things that's really frustrating is although I've applied a format to my calendar date, if I use the same field again in the report, it'll forget that formatting. So if I preview this now, we can see on the report that the first calendar date where I set the formatting has got the desired format that I want and the second one just reverts back to the default. Get 
rid of that second candidate field. And let's apply the desired format into the rest of our fields. Right click, text box properties, then go to number. I want this to be currency. I'm going to have no decimal places. I do want the thousand separator. And I'll show my negative values like this. Happy with that currency symbol. Press OK. Now, again, what would be really, really nifty would be if there was some kind of format painter option in the ribbon, but unfortunately there isn't. Um, again, what would be really, really nifty would be possibly if I could multi-select, but once I do that, my text box properties is grayed out. Now, one alternative way you can set the format, if I select my sales cost, and then come over to the properties pane on the right-hand side, is down here we have a number format option. Uh, but it's not very intuitive to use. You can expand that and create a format expression, but it doesn't give you the same options as that right click method in terms of stepping you through exactly how you want that format to be set. What you could do though, if I go back to my sales revenue where I've already set my desired format, then on the right hand side in the properties pane, you can see here my format has been set. So if I select that, go to the expression, that's the expression that I want. If I copy that, okay. And what I can do now is I can multi-select these and then I can go to my number format down here on the right, paste that in. And I've now got a quick way to apply the same format across multiple fields. Let's see what that looks like. So as you can see, all the formats for these fields have now been changed. Of course, that still isn't right because I want my sales margin to be a percentage and my sales unit quantity to be a whole number. Let's change those now. So everything should now appear how I want it. There we go, sorted. So that's how you can recreate the formatting from your original Power BI dataset. If you're creating reports from Power BI datasets, make sure you don't get caught out with this one. This report is still an ugly baby. As the series continues, we'll turn this into something much more presentable, and we'll also call out some more gotchas along the way. I hope that's been useful. If you do have any questions or feedback, please don't be afraid to slide into that comments section below. If you have enjoyed the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow along for more content about Power BI, and especially if you'd like to follow along with this series about paginated reports, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.